Hello, my name is Brendan Powell. I'm from the United States. I've been in China for almost a year. Hello, my name is Catherine. I'm from Russia and I've been in China for like more than two years. Hi everybody, my name is Donnie, I'm from the States and I've been in China for six and a half years. Hello, uh, my name is Jesse, I'm an American and I have been in China for six months. Actually it was my friend who told me like, hey Kate, let's go. I started dating uh, a Chinese American girl and we're married now so I really need to learn. I really like Chinese language. I really liked the characters. Yeah. And I like that. It was like, oh, that's pretty fun. <laughs> okay. My teacher was good at like pulling us in. I think if you take his class for a day, it would be hard to leave. Well, I have one embarrassing story. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> when you want to say like animals in a cute way, you say mao mao, go go, but you can't say gg because, because that's penis. So that's like, oh, gg. No, you can't say that. No, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I also don't know how to say where are you from. So I just say Nisha Shanghai Rama. And then if they say no, I say Nisha Guangzhou Rama. And if they say no, I just keep saying cities until they tell me. <laughs> they don't have time to understand that you don't speak Chinese. Instead of saying Yu uh, Da Bian, I remember I was saying Yu Da Bian for a really long time. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to Yu Da Bian. And he just looks at me like, what? People just look at me like, what? It's so embarrassing, come on. It's just like, could you guys make up another word for that? Because it's so same. Whenever it doesn't feel like I'm being judged, I try to practice. Basically anything outside of class was how I improved my Chinese. And yeah, trying to talk to taxi drivers. The taxi drivers here are really interesting. Even in the shop buying something, I can annoy the seller like, what about this one? What about that one? Also, I have uh, Chinese language partners I meet up with. It's Chinese friends, Chinese TV shows, there was a Chinese girlfriend in between. <laughs> Yeah, especially dating four Chinese girls. <laughs> That's like four <laughs> times the practice. Somehow I learned. Somehow, even without Chinese classes. <laughs> Class was just for foundation. 2013, I started learning Chinese, but my progress has been very slow. Extremely slow. Pretty bad. Extremely poor. It's just really bad. The difficulty is trying to sound good in Chinese, getting the tones right. If I don't say it really well, they don't understand what I'm saying at all. The shi or shi or shi. And I still don't understand the difference. Any of them, any shi is probably, for any foreign, I think is probably one of the classic headaches. It's hard for me to say the difference between there and where. Like, nali or nali. I don't, but they sound the same to me. You know, you have to really concentrate, okay, the tone, which tone, which part, which part did I say that messed up this whole sentence? Ah. You know, certain characters, you just move the position, mm -hmm. and then it becomes a different word with different tones. Hopefully the other person will understand what I mean, but... It doesn't sound, you know, super dee dee da da They never understand. When you try to speak in front of someone you don't know, it's, it's, it's hard. Um. Um. Well. Zoeva. Newbie. It's the people around you who really influence the way your Chinese sounds. Who are you interacting with? Well, no, no.